Treasury peers Chris Kipto Wednesday was hard pressed by members of parliament to shed light on the proposed multi billion shilling Jomo Kenyatta International Airport modernization deal that would see the investor Adani Holding Limited occupied for 30 years. Kipto's explanation that details on the deal will only be made public once finalized by Treasury angered members of the National Assembly's Public Debt and Privatization Committee who demanded that the deal be suspended until its details are laid bare. Here's Abdias Aziz Hashim with the details. Is on the status of the proposal by the Adani Airport Holding Limited for the investment in the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA. Kenyans will have to wait 14 more days to have a glimpse inside the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Adani Holdings deal. Well, we will deal with it if that happens. But for now, we have told them to bring the matter within two weeks. So let's allow them to do that. This became evident Wednesday afternoon after Treasury Principal Secretary Chris Kipto remained tight-lipped over the deal set to see the national carrier in a 30-year deal with the Indian firm. And our response is as, as follows, that the review of the proposal by Adani Airports Holding Limited for the investment in the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is currently ongoing. Once finalized, the National Treasury will uh, give a comprehensive submission on the same. This response irked members of the National Assembly's Public Debt and Privatization Committee probing the deal that has elicited public interest and a strike threat by the Kenya Airports Workers Union Kau on September 1st. On this matter, rather than this, this one sentence that you put on your presentation. International Airport is a government property, is a security area, is an area that means a lot to Kenyans. So we cannot just uh, take that for an answer. Some of the protests that we witnessed uh, last month and uh, in the recent past, mm -hmm. partly were the result of this, some of these deals. Don't let other people drive that narrative. <coughs> Don't make it secretive. Therefore, Mr. Pierce, again, with all due respect, this is a thorny issue. Some of us, our re-election is based on how we handle this matter. And therefore, to us, it's a matter of career progression. And therefore, we have to take it seriously. The lawmakers further propose that the deal to be halted until Treasury sheds more light on it. And maybe stop this transaction until such a time. We are vast with every information. And no, I mean, the, 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 the only bad thing about this is that Parliament is, is not in session. Because we would have tabled uh, 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 a status report as soon as... Uh, Tuesday, so that then we stop the process until we are uh, well versed with all the information. I have heard the members, and I think it's only fair that uh, I come back with a comprehensive uh, uh, report on this matter. Council Secretary General Moses Ndiyama says workers fear that the deal will render them jobless. That we are opposed to anything called Adani, anything, any trace of Adani. We are not going to allow it. The PS was also put to task to explain why the government bails out the national carrier at the expense of the taxpayers. Abdias is Ashim for Prime Edition. <laughs>